fashion is about emotion, making you feel sexy. So we cannot develop a product that protect the planet, but compromise the look. I started genealogy 25 years ago. I come from a textile family. Denim jeans are the uh, iconic garment. Everybody has a jeans in their wardrobe. To produce one jean, we contaminate 100 liters of water. 20% of the water that contaminates the river of the planet is coming from textile and apparel industry. But I decided to create the, the company to solve this problem. But the first technology that we develop is laser. It's using the energy of a laser to distress the genes, to reproduce the effect of the past of the time. Before, this was done with uh, a lot of chemistry. The second technology, ozone, we are using the air to produce the stone wash look. And with both technologies together, we reduce 80% of the water consumption. But our ambition was zero waste. So then the third one is nanobubbles. In one centimeter, you have one million bubbles. And these bubbles, like a cloud, are transporting chemistry uh, into the garments. And with that, we reduce the amount of water from 100 liters to only 10 liters. So then we decide to create H2C0, and that works like a kind of backpack. Take the water, clean the water, and put the water into the system uh, again. So the combinations of four technologies allow us to produce genes with zero water, zero waste, and without contaminating the rivers of our planet. Today, 35% of the genes that are produced in the world use our technologies. Levi Strauss, Lee, Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein, H&M, Dolce Gabbana or, or DSL are using our technologies. During the 90s, all the production ran away to countries where labor was cheap because these countries at that time didn't have regulations and everything was possible. You, you, you were able to produce, destroying the, the planet. And I'm sure that in the next five years, 10-15% of the production is going to come back to Europe, is going to come back to the US, is going to come back to Japan, is going to come back near the consumer. In 2018, we create the first plant in the history of textiles, in the desert of Nevada, in a place where water was not available, that don't use water and cannot contaminate water. It was unbelievable, the achievement of all our dreams. The main thing to make sure that designers are happy with the results. And I will say that it's not only happening, we are creating and providing tools to the designers to make their dreams a reality, but in a way that they do not contaminate our planet. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.